Ladies and gentlemen, in this Red Gamer Tidacom video, we're going to be taking an early look at the frame rate of the PlayStation 4's exclusive, The Order 1886. So, the good news is, at least from my early testing, and bear in mind that I've only gotten a couple of hours in, so obviously the more strenuous sections of the game are possibly yet to come, but the good news is that the frame rate is a pretty much a solid 30 FPS throughout, which means that the game offers a very solid gameplay experience up to the 30 frames per second limit, which is, of course, a good thing. Now, I will speak about the aesthetics briefly in this video, but we will, of course, do a full analysis over the next few days, but early impressions of the graphics aren't very favorable, as you're probably gonna see throughout the video. Um, there are a couple of small glitches here and there, a couple of low resolution textures. I have noticed the camera very rarely, just for a second, zooming into a model. In other words, you go inside of a model, but it's very rare and it's only happened to be once or twice. The controls are pretty responsive, although I have noticed occasionally there is a slight delay in um, responsiveness, particularly with the camera, but it's by no means a particularly mean problem at all. It's not. Uh, too hostile and to be totally honest it feels rather nice particularly in combat situations uh, combat feels are rather smooth and responsive or at least as responsive as it can do at the 30 frames per second mark shadows details lighting all of it looks pretty damn astounding and special mention has to be made regarding the character models they look very impressive indeed and you'll notice various details for example uh, when you're walking under a gangway that has say, a light source above it, you'll notice that that light source will then filter through to the character and you'll see spotted light patterns on their jackets. Or if you're walking through, say, a rainy corridor that's got lighting above it, once again, you'll spot the lighting fairly accurately, not 100% of course, but fairly accurately represented in the game world. And that's, that's pretty nice. Uh, Anti-aliasing, as far as I'm aware, I haven't super researched into this yet, but it would appear to be a form of TXAA. So occasionally you do see just the hint of uh, smearing in terms of aliasing, but the jank is a pretty much nice. There's no super sharp edges or anything like that, so your eyes aren't being gouged out, which is always a pleasant experience. Uh, I will also point out, it's amazing how many little details there are in the world, by which I mean vases can be destroyed if you shoot them, um, you've got fairly destructible cover, particularly with explosions, but obviously not everything is completely and utterly destroyable, you can't basically reshape the landscape if you throw a grenade, which is a bit of a shame, but considering what we're working with, it's pretty lovely, and I am very impressed with the aesthetics of the title as a whole um, there's no real major issues that i've come across so far there's no major glaring textures or uh major um, um, hit detection problems or frame rate drops at least in the first couple of hours once again this is still early but i want to put this up here just to reassure people that if you are thinking of buying the game and you're wondering does it really perform as well as what ready at dawn uh, had stated it does it really live up to the at least the performance and graphical hype then yes um obviously the fact that they have reduced that resolution because it is running effectively at uh, 1920 by 800 the fact that the game is effectively rendering at a lower internal internal resolution does indeed free up that extra performance on the ps4's gpu which probably is helping to maintain the frame rate and definitely keep it towards that 30 fps lock which of course is pretty crucial and that also means you're not really getting any visual tearing or any particular graphical abnormalities associated with a lower frame rate but as I said, these are just my first impressions, just playing about with the title for the last couple of hours. I've only had uh, the game in my possession just for a little bit, so we will be doing further testing, of course. Actually going through more technical details and um, definitely trying to, I suppose, the word break the game in terms of the frame rate to really put the game through the paces and you know, throw loads of explosives in certain areas and make loads of boom booms and stuff. So anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. A bit of a short one, but I think it gives you a bit of an impression of just how the game is playing at the moment. As I said, performance-wise, early indications are really solid, but once again, 
I've not played with all of the weapons yet and I've not gotten to really super demanding areas, but early impressions of the game are very favourable indeed. With that said, hopefully you enjoyed the video, I'll see you soon, take care, bye for now.